What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about if you really need a certificate in order to get a job. Alright, so let's start with some of the most popular certificates that I just see people sharing it all over the internet. Uh, certificates like from LinkedIn, from Udemy, uh, Plural Site, Treehouse and Coursera is one of the most popular now as well where people they can just like do a full course and then in the end they just pay for the certificate. Um, but the problem in here is that people they put a lot of thought, they give a lot of importance to these kind of certificates. But the thing is when companies they are actually hiring a candidate, you are applying for a job and uh, you know they just go through the, the interview process with you. I'm gonna tell you I have been through many different interviews throughout my whole career and I've spoken with a lot of people um, the same before is like not a single company where I have worked before or where I have interviewed or anything like that not a single company asked me to see the certificate. All right, so companies, they clearly, they don't care about that certificate. Now, so what's, what's the certificate for? The certificate is just a proof for yourself that, that people they used to like to show to other people, look, oh, look, I have a certificate on this. A certificate is just a piece of paper in the end of the day. It doesn't really matter a lot. It's a piece of... Uh, uh, a certificate is just a piece of paper that you can hang on your wall for you to be very proud of it and for your mother to be very proud of it and just for you to show your friends or, or your colleagues or whatever. Because the thing is, if you have a certificate, you might have a certificate of something that you have done, I don't know, two years ago or three years, it doesn't matter. And now you are trying to apply for a job and you show them, look, I have a certificate on this, but you don't know what to do because you either forgot or or you you maybe you have a certificate but you actually don't know that content really well in the actual interview people they are just going to tell you look sorry you, they are not going to tell you during the interview most likely after but they are going to tell you that you are not the candidate that they are looking for because the thing is people they put a lot of uh, importance into this certificate and is not the most important part Actually, it doesn't have any importance at all because when companies they are hiring, first of all, they need to make sure that you have the right technical skills for the job itself. So they can they can see this clearly by just making them uh, making a few questions to you. So asking you about some technical knowledges about your your competences. They might give you some challenges to do on the spot with them. Uh, nowadays, it's becoming more and more popular, especially in here in the UK, that during the interview processes, um, usually companies, they send a task to, to the candidates. They do that task, is usually a project, something that takes around one, two hours. Um, and once the candidates, they if they are able to finish the task, of course, uh, hopefully they will, uh, they will send that uh, project back to the company where they can just like review your code and so on. And then during the next stage of the interview, they can actually have a talk with you about all the different aspects of your code. So you can guide them through about why did you took these kind of decisions and so on. So this is really one of the most important parts of an interview. So getting to know if you have the right technical knowledge no one will ask you, do you have the, the certificate for this or for that? Or when did you took that? No one really cares. Now, what's the next thing that is super important for an interview? The other aspect is really is going to be about uh, um, if your personality fits in the culture of the company that you are joining with. Um, so I'm just going to give you, for example, um, an example of an interview question that I actually have been recently in an interview uh, and I was asked this question and this question actually I never heard about it before but I, I thought that it was a, a really great one uh, which was they were asking me something like this if you had the choice of working in a company that uh, um, you would be working on a team 
that uh, people they don't hang out well so people they are not very friendly with each other on on that team but they are actually very productive so they do all the tasks that they are required by the company they meet all the deadlines they do everything fine but the the, the team itself they they don't hang out well they are not in a very good relationship would you prefer to work on a company in this kind of situation or would you like to work on a company that, uh, um, for example, you are on a good team where everybody is just like friendly with each other, everybody hangs out well, uh, but in the end of the day, you are not so productive. So you might fail some deadlines and so on. So give this a bit of a thought. Which kind of a team would you prefer to be working with? Would you prefer to work on a team that everybody hates each other and they are not hanging out well, but in the end of the day, they finish all the deadlines, they do everything on time? Or would you prefer to work on a team that everybody is friendly with each other, everybody is super happy to work together, but in the end of the day, you don't actually meet the deadlines? So I'm actually going to leave this for another video. Just give it, give it some uh, thought about this and leave it in here on the comments down below because I would like to hear your, um, your opinions about this. All right, and that's really it about this video, guys. I just really wanted to tell you that a lot of people, they are just asking, is the certificate from Udacity enough for me to get a job? Is the uh, certificate from uh, Treehouse or from LinkedIn? No one cares about this. It's, it's good if you have it, because in the end of the day, when you are going to sign up for one of these services online, one of these kind of uh, online learnings, what you are paying for in the end of the day is the knowledge that you are learning in there, is the actual, is the skills that you are learning, uh, acquiring, so you can use it on the job that you are trying to get. This is what you are paying for. The certificate is just really a paper to really help you say, look, you finish, here is something for you to just hold on to it, maybe just show it to your friends and for you to be proud of something that you have accomplished before and to just remind you that you actually were able to, f to, to tackle this obstacle, to actually finish this degree, you were able to do that. Alright guys, so that was it for uh, today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this um, video and this topic. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about these kind of certificates? Do you agree with me? Do you think that they are useless or do you think that they are actually useful for something? I want to know everything in the comments down below. Alright guys, that's it for me in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.